Hey, it's Rick here, and I've got another poetic case for your iPad mini. This one is called the hardback, and I will link in the description of this video as to where you can pick it up, and you should check it out because they are offering this at a very, very competitive price, and I am really impressed by this case. We've seen this style before on the first, second, and third gen iPad, uh, but it is a very nice folio case that the exterior material resembles a carbon fiber. So you can see what that looks like. On the inside of this is a very soft microfiber material. So you do not have to worry about your iPad mini getting scratched up inside of this case. And there's a couple of ways that you can put your mini in. You certainly could slide it in. But I find, especially if you're going to use a screen protector, it's probably best to basically cinch it in like you're going to see me do here. So just kind of lay it in that corner and then take these two claws and pop them right over the screen just like you see me doing. It is not a extremely difficult fit. Sometimes I've seen these cases and you really struggle to put these claws over the screen. It works and it works well, so no complaints there. Notice there is a kind of a rubber strap here uh, or an elastic strap, I should say. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. There is this claw mechanism here to keep this lid closed, but let me show you if you do decide to use that, how this is gonna work. So the claw will keep this front lid closed just fine. However, if you want to use that strap, just do that and it will keep it extra secure and it will prevent this lid from opening up inside of a bag because it is securely attached. So let me go ahead and put that back and I will close this lid up again and show you what it looks like. So here's the front of the case. You can see some poetic branding in the bottom right hand corner. And again, you've got that carbon fiber sort of look. It's gonna show a few fingerprints here and there. So you'll need to wipe it down from time to time, but it's nothing too bad. Here's where the spine is, and that's what that's going to look like. Now up along the top, you can see everything is exposed. So as far as compatibility goes with this case with headphones, it should work very, very well. And then along the side here, you can see your volume buttons and your switch for rotation lock or mute. And what is nice about this case is you also have a stylus holder. And I like the positioning of it being down here and not up here because by being down here, it doesn't get in the way of your buttons. Down below, this is what it's going to look like. Those are your speakers and they are completely exposed, including this side. None of those are covered up. And your lightning port as well is completely exposed. So that's great for compatibility with things like the 30 pin to lightning adapter. That's going to work really well. Here is the back of the case and you can see what that looks like. And then of course your camera cutout right along the top here. Uh, is just fine, no problems there. Now, you may have caught it at the beginning of the video, I didn't mention it, but I will now. It uses the sleep and the awake feature. So when you close it, it puts it to sleep, and when you open it, it's gonna awaken it. Works flawlessly for me every single time. I have no issues with it whatsoever. And when you flip this into its book mode, it's gonna add a little bit of bulk. You are gonna have this area protrude out, but it doesn't put your device to sleep. So again, it works just as intended. There is a hand strap right here on this case. And if we pull that open just a little bit, you can slide your hand in there. And that's another way to hold this case. And then of course it has its stands. And the way that you engage those is you undo these two bottom claws, just like you see me doing here. And you've got these grooves here. So basically you can set it in any number of these grooves. They're decently uh, sized and deep, so you don't have to worry about your mini falling out of these stands. So there's a couple different ones that you are seeing right here. And they all feel comfortable and they all work very well and very secure. This also works extremely well in a lap environment or if you're in bed and you've got it on your lap there, it works very well in those modes as well. From a drop protection perspective, well, you know, you do have some exposed areas here. Thankfully, your corners are all covered. So I would say this is gonna provide a moderate level of protection against drops, uh, and you get some nice cushion, especially on that front portion, as you can see here. Uh, but this case really executes well. I am going to give the Poetic Hardback a five out of five. It executes on everything that it says it does. The uh, flawless sleep and awake works 
perfectly. The stands work great for me, and I really don't have any complaints about this one. And then, of course, its price is really competitive, and you can look in the description of this video for that. So the Poetic Hardback gets a perfect 5 out of 5 from me. If you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.